Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can analyze matrices and vectors in MATLAB using some built-in features. In this video, I'm going to go over the size, length, and some commands in detail. We'll also look at the min and max commands as they pertain to matrices and vectors. We'll also go over how to find the number of elements in a matrix. This is going to be a fairly detailed video. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's create a row vector. I'll call it fec1, uh, then uh, equals, and then open a bracket and type in 5, 1, 7, 2, 5, 3, 10, 6. Close off the bracket and I'll suppress this with a semicolon. Press enter. You can still view uh, the row vector if you double click on uh, the uh, variable name here in the workspace. So you can see that uh, a row vector was created. I'll close this out. Okay, so let's say I wanted to know the size of this vector. Obviously this is a simple example, but maybe you were working with a data that has thousands of elements. Uh, this might be useful. I'll use the size command with the name of the vector in parentheses. So size, open parentheses, uh, vec one, close off the parentheses. And if I press enter, I'll get two numbers. The first one is telling me the number of rows in, uh, in this uh, uh, vec one. So that's one, and this is a row vector. So that checks out. And then it's telling me there are eight columns. So, yep, there are eight columns. Uh, and this, is, this goes in the order uh, rows and columns. Think about giving a dimension for a matrix, you'd say row by column. Alternatively, what you could do is say op uh, bracket row uh, comma call for column or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and then say a size vec one, uh, close off the parentheses. And now if I do it, uh, MATLAB is going to return it in this fashion. Row one is equal to one, uh, row is equal to one or columns equal to eight. So the number of rows is one, number of columns is eight. When doing it this way, it's a bit more explicit. We can clearly see the number of rows and the number of columns. Let's say you had a column vector instead. I'm going to assign the uh, variable name vec call equals, and I'm just simply going to transpose uh, the row vector. So vec one, and then a single apostrophe to transpose. And I'm going to suppress this with a semicolon. Okay, and you can always view it by cl double clicking in the workspace. It will show that indeed a, a column vector was created. We can use the size command here. So row call equals size and the name of the vector, which is vec call. Okay. So now if I press enter, it should give me that the number of rows is eight and the number of columns is one. And that checks out because this is a column vector. It's a single column with eight rows. Let's clear the command window, CLC. Okay, so let's say you had a matrix instead. I'll assign the variable name mat1 for matrix1. One. Uh, so let's say the matrix is 25, 33, 29, 42, and then semicolon to indicate that you're moving on to the next row. Uh, so we'll have 53, 44, 40, 56, semicolon, 33, 25, 45, 85, and then close off the bracket. Also press this, press enter, and you can always view it by double clicking in the workspace. And you can see that I have a four by, uh, I, have a, I have a three by four matrix, sorry. Uh, let's, let's just get a better view. So we have three rows and four columns. Okay, let's clear, uh, let's uh, close this out. We can uh, use the size command here as well. We'll say row call 
and then say size mat one. And it's going to tell me that it's a three by four matrix, three rows, four columns. Now, watch what happens if I use the length command. Let's say I have typed in length mat one. It gives me four uh, as an answer. So what if I did the length of one of the vectors, vec one, that's the row vector. It gives me eight. And then length of vec call, that's the column vector. It also gives me eight. So what's happening here? What MATLAB is doing with the length command is giving you the larger dimension. So for matrix one, uh, the uh, mat one, that was a three by four matrix. So the larger dimension was four. For the row and column vectors, in both cases, the larger dimension was eight. And uh, the case of the row vector, there were eight columns. In the case of the column vector, there were eight rows. So in both cases, the largest dimension would be eight. So that's what the length command does. Maybe you're also interested in knowing how many total elements there are in your array. I'll just uh, clear the command window so we have better view. So what we can do, I'm just gonna call up mat one here so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to use uh, the command that's N-U-M-E-L for number of elements, open a parentheses, and then type in the name of the matrix, mat one, close off the parentheses, and MATLAB will tell me there are 12 elements. And that's the case because there are three rows, four columns, so three, by four, uh, three times four, that's 12. So we have 12 elements. And if we use this on one of the vectors, so vec one, we'll get eight. And, if, and, and that should also be the same for the column vector. Now, maybe you're interested in finding the maximum value in a vector. Let's look at, let's clear this once again. Let's look at vec one. I'm going to have it pulled up on the command window just so we have a clear view of it. I can clearly see that the maximum value is 10. However, for a larger data set, it might not be so easy to spot that. We can simply use the max command. So max for open parentheses, name of vector vec one, and close off the parentheses. And it will tell me that uh, 10 is the largest value. And you can do something very similar for min. So min vec one, and then close off the parentheses it will tell you that the minimum value is one. Let's say you wanted to know in which column of VEC1 uh, the value of the element was equal to seven. What you could do is use the find command. So find VEC1 and double equal sign to show that it's equal and then close off the parentheses and press enter and you'll get three which means that seven should be the third element. And if you look here, seven is the third element. So what if I did find vec one double equals five, there are two fives in the, uh, in the, in the vector. So it should give me uh, two locations. It should be the first element as well as the fifth element. So press enter. And it, tells, and it tells me that uh, in the first position and in the fifth position, we can find the value five. Let's say you wanted to know the location of the minimum value. You can use find fec one, double equal sign min fec one, and then close off the parentheses. What we're telling MATLAB here is that we're looking for the position where uh, in the vector, where in the vector uh, it's equal to the minimum value of the vector. So press enter and we get two. So if we look here, one is the lowest value and it's in the second uh, column. And we can do something very similar for max. 
So vec one equals max of vec one. And we'll get that it's the seventh position. And in the seventh position here, we have 10, which is the maximum value. Finding the min and max for a matrix is slightly different. Let me just call up, uh, let me just clear this and call up mat one. So just so we can have a clear view of this, I'm going to use the min commands, min mat one. And when I do that notice, I don't get a single value like last time. What MATLAB is doing here is giving us the minimum value from each column. If you look at the matrix and the first column, the minimum value is 25. Uh, and the second column, it's 25 also. In the third column, it's 29. And in the fourth column, it's 42. Similarly, if you use the max command, it would give you the maximum value from each column. If you wanted the single lowest value of the entire matrix, uh, you could just use the min command twice. So min, min, I'm at one. So what we're effectively doing here is, so this is the, this is just this vector and we're taking the minimum of, from that. So just press enter and there we go. 25 is the lowest uh, value in the whole matrix. And we can do something very similar for it. Uh, the maximum instead we, of min, we just have max. Now let's say you wanted to know the location of the maximum. You can do a bracket row call, bracket, close the bracket equals, find mat one, double equal sign, ma, uh, max, max of mat one. So what we're telling MATLAB here is that just by typing this and we get uh, the maximum from each column and then we get the maximum from that, which would be the uh, highest value in the whole matrix. And then we're trying to find when in the matrix that's uh, equal to that value. And we're gonna get a row uh, and, and a column number. So if we just press enter, oh, sorry, I mistyped. I don't know if I press enter. Uh, I had a missing parentheses. So uh, if I press enter, it should give me that it's in the third row and fourth column. And if we look in the third row and fourth column, we have 85, which indeed is the maximum value of the whole matrix. And we can do uh, something very similar for the min. So row call, uh, find min, um, find mat one equals min, min, mat one. And the reason I get it like this is because there are two locations where the minimum appears. We have 25 here, which is at the location one, one, and then at three, two, which is row three, column two, we have 25 appear again. That's why MATLAB returns it in this fashion. Let's clear the command window CLC. Let's backtrack for a moment and, and say, instead of finding the maximum in each column, you wanted to find the maximum in each row. How would you do that? Let's, let's just have that one showing so you can see it. We already know that if we type in max mat one, it will automatically give us uh, the maximum from each column. So what if I did uh, max mat one, uh, then, uh, no, uh, then a uh, set of brackets and one, and then close the parentheses, I'll get the exact same answer. Now, what if I did max mat one, a set of brackets, comma two, close off the parentheses, I get a different uh, set of answers. And why is that? This time, 
it's taking the maximum by row. So if you look at row one, the maximum is 42. Here, the maximum is 56. And here, the maximum is 85. As you may have guessed, the one here and the two here are telling MATLAB in what direction to go. So one is going vertically or column wise, and two is going horizontally or row wise. And if you look here, we didn't need to tell uh, specify any direction. So by default, it will go column wise. Uh, and then if you specify uh, uh, the direction to be two, then it will go row wise. So that might be useful in some cases as well. Let's clear the command window. N next, let's go over how to find the sum of vectors and matrices. For a vector is once again, it's going to be quite straightforward. So let's just call up vec one so we can see it. Uh, so we'll just do sum vec one, and that's going to be quite straightforward. It'll just add all the elements up. For matrices, let's let's uh, clear this for mat one. Let's say we're going to use the sum command. So sum mat one. Once again, you'll see that it's going column by column. If you want the sum of all the elements, you can do sum of sum of mat one, and it will give you the sum of all the elements in the matrix. Now, let's say you wanted the sum by rows, you could do sum mat one comma two. And unlike the max and min commands, you don't need to use uh, the set of brackets uh, in between. So it will just be mat one comma two, close off the parentheses, press enter. And this time you, you can see that it's uh, done it row, uh, row by row. The last thing we'll look at in this video is how to figure out which row or column has the greatest sum. Let's say I want to figure out which row has the greatest sum in mat one. I'll say A equals sum mat one comma two. So it's gonna take the sum of the rows. So then A is equal to this column vector. So you can see that it's a column vector. If I double click A here, it shows up as a column vector. Now, if I do value comma row and then close off the bracket, max of A is going to give me the value, which is 193 and the row number. So row two has the greatest sum. You can do something very similar uh, for the column. So let's say B is equal to some uh, mat one. And you can see it's uh, gone by column. So then I can just say value uh, column, uh, column, COL for column, and then say that's going to be max of B. So then the value is 183 and it's in column four. That's it for this video. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe, check out other videos on my channel, especially the MATLAB tutorial series, as well as the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Until next time, take care guys.